Jojo Siwa is making fun of her 2018 spat with Justin Bieber. She recently joined a TikTok trend in which creators make videos to the sound of a voiceover from the Vampire Diaries. The voiceover begins, burn it. It then goes, did I say stand there and look stupid? No, I said burn it. Siwa decided to join the trend that she claimed was made for her. Why? Because of a very fitting comment made by the Peaches singer in 2018. Siwa appeared in front of a screenshot from an Instagram post from that year, when West Coast Customs reposted an image of her customized car wrap, which featured bright colors and a little promotion for her dream tour. While Siwa shared that the gift allowed her to have the best Christmas ever, Bieber made his disapproval quite clear by commenting burn it several times underneath the reposted image. Meanwhile, Siwa wrote on the screen of her recent video in which she showed Bieber's comment circled in red, POV, you're Justin Bieber when I got my first car. Siwa went on to troll Bieber at the time of the original comment, sharing a humorous photo on her Instagram account of the teen riding in her vehicle alongside a cardboard cutout of the Canadian pop star. She captioned the image, burn it. Bieber apologized to Siwa on Twitter at the time, explaining that he had nothing against her. He just wasn't a fan of the car's decorations. He wrote, I have nothing against you. It was the car and the colors I didn't like, adding, I really hope you didn't think it was malicious or mean-spirited. In response, Siwa wrote, It's all good, bro, adding that there was a very simple way the singer could make it up to her. She added, You can perform at my 16th birthday party, and we'll call it good. The latest TikTok call-out comes after the Dance Moms alum called Candace Cameron Bure the rudest celebrity she's ever met while participating in another viral trend. Though Siwa posted her TikTok on July 24th, the origins of the feud date back eight years, when Cameron Bure appeared to ignore Siwa at a Fuller House preview when the Dance Mom star was only 11 years old. Cameron Bure responded to Siwa's TikTok video, saying she immediately tried to reach out to find out what happened because Siwa didn't provide any details in the split-second video. Cameron Bure said, She actually didn't want to tell me because she said it's so silly, she felt bad, and that's why it just wasn't a big deal to her. She then added, but then she said, I met you at the Fuller House premiere when I was 11 years old, and we were all on the red carpet. I had come up to you and said, can I have a picture with you? And you said to me, not right now. And then proceeded to do what you were doing and take pictures with other people on the red carpet. Cameron then added, I kind of broke your 11-year-old heart. I didn't take a picture with you. I feel crummy. Jojo, I'm so sorry. However, according to Bure, Siwa was understanding. Bure recalled her saying, you weren't even mean. And I get it now and as an adult, when you're on the red carpet and everything's happening and you're being pulled in different directions, but at that time, I was 11. So where do the stars stand now? On July 29th, Siwa said Cameron Bure wasn't fully truthful in her apology video. The dancer told the New York Post's page six, we did speak on the phone. She shared that in her Instagram video. Jojo then added, she didn't share all the details of the meeting, but it was one of those memories that little 11-year-old me was just stuck with. Candace Bure has yet to respond to Siwa's latest comments. Despite the fact that her daughter's feud with Cameron Bure has been resolved, the dancer's mother, Jessalyn Siwa, had a few words to say. She was the first to claim that Cameron Bure was unkind to her daughter during an earlier episode of her podcast, Success with Jess. Jessalyn reposted the clip on her Instagram on August 1st, recounting the incident when Cameron Bure decided to not take a photo with Siwa but allegedly snapped photos with other kids, telling Siwa, not now, maybe later. In the mom's Instagram caption, she offered a bit of advice to the actress. She wrote, at the end of the day, the story, it's not about a simple photo, it's about how you treat people. She then added, real, genuine kindness always goes a long way. Meanwhile, Candace Cameron Bure's daughter won't stand for criticism of her mom. In a now-deleted Instagram story, Natasha Bure reportedly had words for Jojo Siwa. She wrote, respectfully, someone saying no to taking a picture with you is not a rough experience. She then added, this generation is so sensitive and has zero backbone. Grow up. There are bigger issues in the world than this. She added, for someone to say that they don't want to take a photo with you or that it's a bad time because they're working is not a rough experience. She then added, this generation is so sensitive and has zero backbone. Grow up. There are bigger issues in the world than this. She added, for someone to say they don't want to take a photo with you or that it's a bad time because they're working is not a rough experience. There are people who are dying in other countries. There are children who are starving. Those people are having a rough experience. 
being exposed to the spotlight at a young age isn't a joke, and Jojo Siwa's recent actions shows that she is finally getting her senses from what happened to her in the past. Let us know what you think in the comments section down below.